at your service. Kaya naman, ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo ay mahalaga sa amin to improve our programs on air and online. Para alam ni teacher yung strengths as well as the things in your mind na mas makatutulong sa mas effective na pagkatuto sa Teleradio. Please take time to send your feedbacks via Teleradio Mu, which you can access by scanning the QR code on the right or typing the URL provided here, bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y-9 One more, this time you follow. bit.ly slash 3 O-R-V-A-Y-9 Kaya send your hashtag TBH o hashtag RT dito sa Teleradium U kung saan ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo, ay mahalaga sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood na sa Teleradio. Makinig, manood na sa Teleradio. Teleradio, Teleradio Marcelo. Sa gitna ng mapanubok na panahon Magkahatid sa dagakibat ay diskusyon Sama-sama tayo Kahit magkalayo Sa programang ito Tiyak ang pagkatuto Telerat this is Teleradio Marcelo, Junior High School Science Department. Join us this ag amazing Tuesday morning for another hour of learning in Grade 7 Science. Hello and welcome learners. You are listening to Teleradio Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat malulenyo. Brought to you by MHP, NHS, Marcelo H. Del Pilar National High School. I am Teacher Doris T. Fernando, your Sci Educator for today. Last week, you have learned about the lesson on how places in the Earth's surface were located using a coordinate system. So, to refresh your understanding of the previous lesson, let us do a quick review to check if you still remember our lesson last week. Comment your answer in our chat box. Don't forget to include your section and the name of your science teacher for bonus points on your performance grade. I will need your active participation, my dear Del Pilarians, in this on-air recitation. Let us begin with our recall. Are you familiar in guessing the giver's praise or word? To play, read the groups of unrelated words or nonsense words and decipher or convert it into real word before time runs out. Every word should be guessed for 10 seconds. Example What is the answer? Yes, environment is the answer. Comment your answer in our chat box. Are you ready now? Let's begin. Number one. Blank divides the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere with zero degree latitude. What is the answer? That's right. Equator is the answer. How about number two? Blank divides the earth into eastern and western part with zero degree longitude.
What is the answer? Correct. The answer is primary region. Number three. Blank is a horizontal line found at 66.5 degree north latitude. What is the answer? Yes, the correct answer is Arctic Circle. Very good, Del Pilarians. Next, number four. Blank are horizontal lines that run from west to east with zero degree on the Earth's surface. What is the answer? Latitude is the correct answer. Last but not the least, number five. Blank are vertical lines that run from north to south pole. What is the answer? Longitude is the correct answer. Thank you, Del Pilorians, for participating in our recitation on air. That's amazing! It's a good thing that we still remember our lesson last week. Once again, good morning, Del Pilarians. I'm Teacher Doris T. Fernando. As a continuation of our past lesson, I will share some information with you regarding our planet, the Earth. But before that, let's play a game that I know you are very familiar with, and that is four picks, one word. Can you guess the first word? What is the first word? Very good. The first word is earth. How about the second one? What is the answer? Yes, the second word is resources. Very good. That's our lesson for today all about Earth's resources. After going through this module, you are expected to cite and explain ways of using Earth's resources sustainably. Let's see first our objective for this day. At the end of the lesson, learners will be able to Differentiate renewable from non-renewable resources. Number two, explain ways on how to sustain Earth's resources. And number three, realize the importance to sustain Earth's resources. Planet Earth is made up of natural resources such as animals, plants, air, soil, rocks, water, minerals, crude oil, and other fossil fuels. These things are called natural resources because they are gathered from nature. Hence, they are not made by people. They occur naturally within environments. These are resources found in nature that can be used by humans and satisfy human need to survive. Natural resources can be classified into renewable and non-renewable resources, sunlight, water, air, biomass, and geothermal are renewable resources. Non-renewable resources are fossil fuel, natural gas, coal, 
and nuclear energy. Renewable resources are resources which can be replenished or regenerated easily. It will never run out if we take care of them. Keeping earth clean helps to protect these resources. Non-renewable resources are found in the ground. Non-renewable resources are those which cannot be regenerated once they are used. Once they are gone, they cannot be made or grown again. Examples of renewable resources are water, sunlight, trees, plants, animals, and air. Air or wind is caused by the uneven heating of the atmosphere. Some areas of the world, such as coastal regions, have more wind than others because the terrain of the area is relatively flat and has few obstacles to block the wind from blowing. Forests have moderate climate. It helps cleanse the air and water and serve as habitat to wildlife. They also provide thousands of wood products and related jobs. Trees are used to make paper, flooring, and food. Sun, the closest star to earth. It brings heat and light to the world. The sun shines naturally, but it is not affected by human activity. Water It is important for humans and animals in order for them to survive. It helps human and animals to stay healthy. It helps also the plants to grow. Plants is also a renewable resources. Trees are grown for wood. Fruits and vegetables are grown for food. Plants give humans and animals oxygen, food, and homes. The last one is the animals. Animals are renewable resources just like plants. More animals are grown to be used for food, for humans and other animals. Cows and goats make milk. Sheep makes wool used for clothes. Example of non-renewable resources are fossil fuels and minerals. Fossil fuels like coal, natural gas, petroleum, and oil. It takes millions of years to form. They are product of the fossilized remains of dead plants and animals that have been exposed to heat and pressure deep within the Earth's crust. There are many types of fossil fuels petroleum or gasoline, coal, and natural gas. They are the major types of non-renewable resources because once they are used up, they cannot be replaced. This is due to the long time it takes for them to be replenished. Let us differentiate examples of fossil fuels from one another. Natural gas is a flammable gas consisting largely of methane and other hydrocarbons and is found near oil deposits below Earth's surface that it is used for cooking and for heating homes. Natural gas is the most environmentally friendly fossil fuel. 
The main byproduct when it is burned is steam and little carbon dioxide is released. Next is coal. Coal is another fossil fuel that is used for heating homes and generating power plants that is used for electricity. Next, we have petroleum. Petroleum products like gasoline are also non-renewable resources. Crude oil is a liquid fossil fuel found in rocks below Earth's surface and it is pumped out through wells. It is used for the manufacturing of plastics and to produce gasoline and diesel fuel for vehicles like cars, planes, trains. Do you have any question about fossil fuels? If there is none, let me continue. Land is the solid portion of the surface of the Earth's grass. It is one of the important natural resources needed for the survival of organism on Earth. Land is also needed for industry. New and improved technologies are being developed and used to sustain the agricultural land for humanity. Agricultural lands are being converted into residential and commercial areas. How about minerals? Minerals are mined from earth. They are pure inorganic substances that occur naturally in the earth's crust. Mineral resources are non-renewable and include metals. Example, iron, copper, and aluminum. And also non-metals like salt, gypsum, clay, sand, and phosphates. Mineral resources constitute the vital raw materials for many basic industries and are major resource for development. Do you have any questions? Now, it's time for a quick question and answer. I will flash some pictures. All you have to do is to classify what type of natural resources is present. If it is renewable resources, write RR. And if it is non-renewable resources, write NR. Are you ready? Don't forget to comment your answer. First, we have sun. What is your answer? Yes, RR is the answer or renewable resources. Next, Gold and silver. Yes, N R or non renewable resource. How about water? Yes, it is renewable resource. So it is RR. Next is coal. What is your answer? NR. Yes, correct. Coal is non renewable resource. For the last picture, Forest.
What is the answer? Correct. Renewable resource or RR. Let's pause for a break and when we come back, we will continue our discussion. Good news, Del Pilarians! Our online registration for the special program for science, technology, and engineering, the STE, is extended until May 31, 2021. Schedule of online registration is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Schedule of interview, June 19, 2021 to July 15, 2021. Incoming grade 7 students must have an average grade of at least 85 or higher in math, English, and science, and an average grade of 83 in all other subjects. Aspiring applicants should also have no grades lower than 80 in any quarter and must have a general average of 85 and above based on the computed grades from 1st to 3rd grading periods. For more information, please contact our focal persons, Ms. Marisa Flores and Ms. Jaylin Santos through their numbers on the screen. All right, we are back. You are still listening and tune in to Teleradio Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat malulenyo. Keep listening. We are almost at the end of the broadcast. The last part of our learning session is about conserving our natural resources by which you will play an important role. But why there is a need to conserve our natural resources? Sustainability is the intentional, careful use of our resources so that we will always have enough for the future. Many environmental problems are caused by human actions. That is why we are responsible for finding solution to these problems. We need to save the earth by using earth's resources sustainably. But how? Role of an individual in conservation of our natural resources. First, save energy. We can save energy by switching off electrical appliances, especially when not in use. And hanging clothes to dry instead of using dryer. By using less energy, you can help to reduce carbon emission. Using water wisely. You can save water in and around your home by making a number of small changes. Try installing a water storage or making use of gray water to avoid wasting drinking water. Next, plant trees to save the earth. Stop deforestation. Or you may grow your own plants, growing your own fruits and vegetables. Another is avoid using plastic bags. Use of more eco-friendly products like glass. Avoid wasting of paper. Go paperless. 
Next, recycle, reduce, and reuse. Make sure you're recycling and try to reuse products and items as many as possible before binning them to reduce waste. And the last one, use renewable energy. If possible, consider powering your home using renewable energy to reduce the amount of carbon emissions you produce. You can use solar panels to run appliances. Sustainable development means uses of resources carefully so that beside meeting present requirements, it also takes care of future generation. Principles of sustainable life cycle are respect and care of all forms of life, improve the quality of human life, Conserve the Earth's vitality and diversity. Minimize the depletion of natural resources. To summarize our lesson for this day, natural resources can be classified into renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources can be regenerated or replenished at the same rate or even faster as they are being used. Sunlight, water, air, biomass, and geothermal are renewable resources. Non-renewable resources must be conserved for future use because there is no reasonable way for humans to produce more. To conserve natural resources is to protect or use them wisely without wasting them off completely. Each one of us should think about how to make things sustainable. The lives of the future generation depends on how we use natural resources. To evaluate what we have learned or what you have learned today, kindly get your notebook and numbers it 1 to 5. Use an emoji heart if it shows importance to sustain Earth's resources and an emoji broken heart if it's not. Number one, maintains ecological balance. Write your answers in your notebook. Number two, burn garbage in the yard. Number three, dump biodegradable waste in a compost pit. Number four, plant vegetables or ornamental plants at home. Last number, number five, use basin when washing dishes.
time is up. Let's check your answer. Number one, an emoji heart. Number two, a broken heart. Number three, an emoji heart. Number four, an emoji heart. And number five, another emoji heart. Did you get it all correct? From your score, I know that you learned something from this day. Great job! After this learning session, do not forget to answer your learning activity sheets. Activity number three entitled Sources of Energy. Activity number four entitled Mending the Broken Earth. Just recall what you have learned today and you will surely get high scores. Performance test number one is included in your activity number four, Mending the Broken Earth. For your assignment next week, answer the following questions. Number one, what are the different layers of the atmosphere? Describe each layer. Number two, explain how the energy from the sun interacts with the layers of the atmosphere. Thank you, Del Pilarians, for your active participation. Shout out to my grade 7 classes, 7 Casimiro del Rosario, 7 Fe del Mundo, 7 Oro, 7 Juan M.S. Gallardo, 73 J.C. Robles, and to all grade 7 students. And to my science family, my grade 7 team, thank you for tuning in. Thank you also to my production team, grade 7, Ma'am Maria Lourdes B. Kahanding, my editor. Thank you also to my very understanding and supportive OIC, Ma'am Mirna L. De La Cruz. And to my proactive principal, Doctora Maria C. Bibo. A million thanks to Teleradio team, Ma'am Hilda Magahis. Sir Frederick John A. Macale, Sir Paolo F. De Guzman, and Ma'am Joyce Ann S. Gudoy. I hope you have an amazing time learning with me today. Before I end this broadcast, follow and like Facebook page and subscribe, like YouTube channel, Teleradio Marcelo, ang telearalan ng bawat malulenyo. Thank you for tuning in and see you again next week. I'm your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Doris T. Fernando, now signing off. Thank you so much for your time. See you again on another lesson. your service. Kaya naman, ang feedback mo, suggestions nyo ay mahalaga sa amin to improve our programs on air and online. Para alam ni teacher yung strengths as well as the things in your mind na mas makatutulong sa mas effective na pagkatuto sa Teleradio. Please take time to send your feedbacks via Teleradio Mu, which you can access by scanning the QR code on the right or typing the URL provided here bit.ly slash 3 o r v a y 9 One more this time you follow bit.ly slash 3 o r v
V A Y 9 Kaya send your hashtag TBH o hashtag RT dito sa Teleradio U kung saan ang feedback mo suggestions nyo ay mahalaga sa Teleradio Feedback Makinig, manood, nasa teleradyo Makinig, manood, nasa teleradyo Teleradyo, teleradyo Marcelo